Welcome back to how to create a job board with formidable forms. In the last video, we learned how to create a completely custom view for our job listings, where we had all of our job listings on one page and they linked to individual job posts. We also made those jobs searchable. In this video, we're going to make it so that a job seeker can favorite any jobs that appeal to them. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to Settings, General. We want to make sure that anyone can register is checked off here because we're going to make this form available only to those who are logged in. And right now, only administrators and job posters have logins for the website. So we'll click Save Changes to make sure those stick. And then we're going to create a new form. We're going to call this new form Add to Favorites. And we're going to add two fields to it. A user ID, which will be hidden from the viewer, and a dynamic field. So we'll move this to the top. We're going to load options from form entries. The form we choose is going to be job postings and the field is going to be job title. Now this is also going to be a hidden field. We only want the users to see the add to favorites button that this form is going to output. So we're going to do a few things to make sure that people can't see this dynamic field when we load the form. The first is we're going to show no label, right? So we, we want the label to be hidden. We're also going to make this visible only to administrators. So when we load the page here, since I'm logged in as an administrator, we'll still be able to see this dynamic field. However, we will not be able to see it if we're just a normal subscriber. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a short code to the dynamic default value, and that's going to be get param equals entry. This is necessary for our form to associate the favorite with the currently viewed post. One more note about our dynamic field. In order for this to work properly, it actually needs to be either drop down, radio buttons, or checkbox. We're going to make it a drop down and we'll set the width to automatic. So with our form fields created, we'll click create and then we'll be brought to the general settings page. We're going to need to make a few adjustments on this page as well. The first is we want to redirect to a URL, but we're going to leave this completely blank. We're also going to submit this form via Ajax. We're going to change the permissions and limit the form visibility and submission to only logged in users. And finally, we will allow front end editing of entries by only logged in users. The last thing to do here before we update our form is change the submit button. We're going to change this to add to favorites. We will click update. And now we have a new form created. Now we're going to go over to our views to the job listings view. In order for our add to favorites button to work properly, we need to make sure of two things. The first is that we're using a dynamic view, which we are. And the other is that the detail page slug is entry. This matches what we put in the dynamic default field when we created the form. Now we'll go to our detail page and we will add a short code to the bottom to include our new form. We'll do that by clicking forms and selecting the add to favorites form. We're also going to minimize the form HTML for this. We want our form to take up as little space as possible. So with that added, we'll click update. So we'll go ahead and click on one of our jobs and we see the add to favorites button at the bottom. We also see our ID, our dynamic listing. Again, that's because we are logged in as an administrator. 
non-administrators will not see this. So we'll click add to favorites. And now our job has been added to a favorites list. We can see that under forms entries. So you'll see we have an add to favorites created by me just now. Now, adding things to favorites wouldn't be very useful if the user can't then go see everything that they've added as a favorite. So we're also going to create a view called favorite listings. We can create a new one called favorites. We'll use entries from add to favorites. We'll make this all entries. And then we can add whatever content we want here. You'll notice that we are dynamically grabbing an ID and we can display any of this information. So we're going to use some markup that is recommended from the knowledge base over at formidableforms.com. And this basically creates a new div with a delete link. We are going to replace that content with a link to the job title using a couple of short codes here. So we're using the short code site URL that'll grab the URL of your website slash jobs slash entry, which is the URL format of what we are creating in this view uh, slash nine eight equals show ID, which uses the uh, ID from our job information from our job posting. And then we will make it link to the job title at company name. And we are good to go. The last thing we need to do for this view is make sure that we are only showing favorites for the current user. So we'll scroll down to filter entries, click select user ID is equal to current user. And we'll click publish. With our view created, we're going to make a new page called favorites. And we're going to add our view. We'll click insert into post. And we'll click publish. Now we can view a list of our favorites. So we have copywriter at Apple. And we can click remove from favorites. And now that is gone. So we can go back to our jobs page and maybe add this to our favorites. And you could see that our favorites is updated. So that's it for this tutorial. In it, we learned how to create and display a list of favorites for the logged in user. In the next video, we're going to really unleash the power of formidable forms by creating an application that will route applications to a job poster based on the job. <laughs>